What up, peeps? Mystery review, deck review time. Bumblebee. I haven't picked these up in months, so I have no idea what to expect. There's a bee on the back. I think these are to increase awareness of the plight of bumblebees and a certain amount of takings of them supposedly goes to charity but as they're by illusionists that could all be bullshit <laughs> hope it's not but we know what illusionists are like with all their hype especially with that fucking clearance event they did um, when was it? June? Clearance event, once a year, whoa! And then somebody popped on my video last couple of weeks, so do you know when the clearance event finishes? I goes, yeah, it was only on for a few days back in June. He goes, oh, well, there's still some cards available. And bugger me, the little fuckers at Illusionist are still selling their Black Club decks, they're still selling the Absence version 2s at the same price that they were in the clearance event. So, fuck Illusionist, I'm not buying any more cards off them. There's my rant for Illusionist again. They really do take the piss. I will still purchase the Illusionist cards, just not direct from Illusionist, and only probably used. Bees are beautiful. And a little bit of something on the flap design. So isn't it weird that they can do a deck like this and make the tuck box pretty interesting and yet they have all that hype over that, those Royal Reserve decks. There's Jeremy Griffith going, oh, this is the best, best tuck box I've ever seen, most elegant tuck box. And it's just a plain white tuck box, there's nothing on the flaps. Well, that's illusionist for you. I probably will buy a flip from them again when they do a clearance event next year, but Christ knows what they're going to put in it next year, because there's no Black Club available anymore, so they can't put any more Black Club cards on there. Anyway, that's me ranting about illusionist. It's a diazepam, folks. It's the tablets. This isn't my normal personality. <laughs> Actually, it probably is. It just comes out more. Yet another pointless ad card. Oh, sorry, no, this isn't. This tells you... <laughs> Oops! This tells you all about the bees and their predicament. Pause it if you want to read it. Uh, and again another one because they couldn't get enough information on the other deck so quite nice I like I do like those the ace of spades very nice it's all about the bees very nice quite unusual design on the number cards they're all the same obviously picture cards I'm hoping I haven't seen them for a while. I'm hoping that they've put a bit, a bit of effort in and that the faces on the picture cards are going to be bees, like a queen bee. Does that make sense? So a queen would be a queen bee. Ha! <laughs> like fuck is it? So, just a belk standard fucking picture card. Oh, that dies of pan really is kicking in now. Sorry about my language, folks, but... Tablet someone and make him irritable. <laughs> More than normal. So. <sighs> oh, and the. F Jesus Christ. Oh. So, you know, is there nobody at Illusionist who's got the common sense or the brains to go, it's a queen, let's make it a picture of a queen bee? Clearly not. Dumb bastards. Okay. And the rest of them are all standard. I mean, there's not even. What's the bee? There's not even a bee. Oh, I'll give them. Oh, I'll give them kudos for the clubs. I do like the club design. Shit. <laughs> I quite like the deck overall, to be fair, because uh, it's different. But they really did miss a trick, or they probably just couldn't be bothered to um, to spend any more money on designing the cards. Um, and. Uh, the dwindling honeybee is vital as a pollinator. 
and a third of all plants we eat have been pollinized colon per fucking hell pollinated by bees well maybe you should tell donald trump that because he seems to think i don't know what the fuck he thinks um but he doesn't believe in global warning warning global warming let alone the ecology very nice design on the spread do like them it's a shame they're illusionists <laughs> uh, do i recommend them <laughs> well i don't recommend illusionist but i recommend these cards just don't buy them direct from illusionist get them from your local card retailer so very nice cards very nice tuck box and they're all for a good cause if you believe what illusionists say and that a certain percentage of every deck that they have sold goes to charity. Thanks for watching, take care, see you all next time with a non-be inspired deck.